Hello and welcome back to Oliver Clatworthy Music and in today's video is another long form interview. I'm in interviewing Die Twice and we'll just get straight into it. So I'm now joined by Die Twice. So for all of you who may not know them, you should know them. They are the most famous band in Exeter. So just go along left to right. What's your name? What do you play? Where's your left? I'm, I'm, okay, let's go, Jake. Oh, it's me. Please. I'm Jake, uh, drummer. Yeah. Guy twice. Finn, bassist. <laughs> I'm Billy, I play the guitar. And I'm Ollie, and I sing. He's a singer. Get on. And you also play guitar as well, don't you, Ollie? Yeah, I play I dabble, I dabble. You dabble. Yeah. <laughs> I play guitar now as well, yeah. And a bit of piano. What? Yeah. Multi instrumentalist. That's that kind of guy, you know. Oh, what I mean? this. It's literally the Beatles. <laughs> so i wanted to ask is there a standout gig you've done obviously you've been going for around two three years now there must be a standout gig brighton green door store that was a hell of a gig. It was insane um yeah. i mean it was just going all the way to brighton we would just done a gig in london that weekend and on the monday we went to brighton and it was just like just like the coolest venue in the whole city and so many cool people who are all so lovely and supportive and and like dancing and fucking mosh pitting it was great it was just good vibes yeah, yeah. Really cool. i'm so, gonna have to say the first time we um played main stage phoenix oh and without billy oh, yeah that was fun so <laughs> <laughs> billy was actually in the crowd so you, you enjoyed it as well it's a good show and, <laughs> and it was like it was i think what was it like our fourth ever gig Third. Third, fourth. Third, third or fourth. Sorry, and, uh, yeah. We were supporting James Sebastian, and we, I think we announced it quite late. And we were just like, it was on uh, Tuesday. Uh, night. Big up James yeah. Sebastian, by the way. Good lad. And uh, <laughs> so we, we were like not expecting a massive turnout at all, and we were just like, we're just gonna play Phoenix. It's cool. And uh, I remember we we went out, and uh, it, it, the crowd was just massive, and we were like, what the fuck? And we played, and it was just <laughs> unbelievable. It, that that was that was a big one for me. Anyway, that yeah. was like a big wall. Yeah, it's good, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've I've only ever been to two two die strike two die twice gigs, and because I'm like thinking about it, and there's only two I've ever been to, which was the Cavern in March 2022 with Wes Chamberlain in Guanas. Oh, oh, oh my that god, was a good, one. good one. Wasn't that, it? Was, that was a that. Was... I remember I was, you I there, I remember well. you there. Yeah, no, that was a really good one as well. That was that sick. Was that was so fun. That was that video again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it literally blew up my phone. My phone speaker just died at that gig. Like the phone <laughs> microphone. That was fun. That was all me. That was all me. <laughs> <laughs> And then oh, the God. Phoenix gig was amazing. The Bright Young Things festival. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Billy was definitely not on that one. Was that the one last year? That was with No, one, one year before. You yeah. Shout out you haven't seen Billy Billy? You see Billy? No, I haven't. No, he's, probably, he's really he's, bad. He's awful. He's awful. <laughs> I don't know why. Are we allowed, we want, are we allowed can to we have swear, Is swearing okay or not? Hmm? Is swearing okay? Yes. Swearing is okay. So my next question is, what's your favourite song to perform in Die Twice? To perform? Oh. 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 I got money. We've never played that one. Just play the song. A new song called Art of Dying. Mm. And that is like so much fun to play, and we've only played it a few times. Mm. And it's we're gonna play it at our Exit to Phoenix gig on yeah. the thirtieth. Is it thirtieth? Thirtieth yeah, yeah. of May. 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 <laughs> twenty twenty. Supported by four. Yeah. Supported by a pack of animals, animals. and fever. Rouge. Yeah, Bloody Rouge. hell. Holly. <laughs> Oh, Princess. Oh, yeah. Princess. I like playing a song of ours called Evelyn because it's got a nice groove. Oh, and Lady yeah, and as well. And Lady as well. Lady. Lady. That's, that's our whole groove. Oh, boy. We got a song called Come Down With Me and that's a letter. Oh, that's, oh, that's oh, bad. bad. Right, You'll hear all these tunes. Uh, the X is a Phoenix! Right, May 2020! Oh, yep. Oh, 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to spin this round to me and say my five favourite Die Twice songs. Oh, right. Oh. Bearing in mind, I haven't seen you guys since 2022, and I've listened to the two EPs. Number one, uh, Butterflies Die Twice, the first song in the set. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard that, like, being called that for ages. Oh, yeah, Butterflies, that was the original. Butterflies, that's a change. And then... Control. Oh, fair enough. Flashy. Oh, no, this no. is in no particular order as well. Oh, There's no order to this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Probably no. Too Dry for a Swim is a that's great a, song. That's another yeah, that's 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 yeah. really. I haven't played that. What, do you like the recorded version or do you like it live? Both. You like it both? Cool. What um, I do really like Different Shade of Jean as well. That's a great oh, song. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's amazing. That's a good one. That's a great one. The end of that is just the funniest thing. And then probably pump it, Pumpkin Spice Latte. <laughs> the first single. Yeah, yeah. Second. Oh, God. That's a throwback. We haven't played that song in a very long time. Mm. That's probably last time was when you went to the game. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> which, <laughs> which leads me on to my next question. What's the least favourite song you've played? The least favourite song we've played? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. There's like... We've probably played like one of our songs at a gig, and we've all just thought it sucked. Mm -hmm. Like, but then you play it the next gig. Yeah, the songs that like they kind of change. But I would say like least favorite would be Pumpkin. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I think we've already played it. Is it like? I yeah. guess it's like every gig, and and it's one of our it's one of our it's like not us, it, most popular songs and our first single. So we've like heard it a lot, and it's just like, uh, you know what I mean? It's all indie. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. I did an interview with Zach Zafiro the other day, as you may know, um, you and he asked a question for Die Twice, which was, oh. um, I was like, I'm interviewing your former band. What would you like to ask him? And he asked, <laughs> how has the sound changed since Pumpkin Spice Latte? Oh, oh my God. Crazy. Jeez. <laughs> right, we've, lost, we've lost that guitarist. We've lost the Sam guitarist. Big up Sam. Big up New Relic. Big up. Um, um, what have we lost? No, we, we, we've, we've lost something, but we've gained the, more. The thing is, like, we're not, it's, we're not just, it's gone in a different direction. Mm. It's gone from like, yeah, it's more indie like, punk um, to like mm. psychedelic, oh, like a bit of a fusion of yeah. things. Um, a bit more funk, experimental, more trip hop, a bit more soul, a bit more like. Uh, yeah, Latin there's probably a, there's a lot more soul in, in the sort mm. of sound, mixing that with the kind of eeriness, I guess. Yeah. Fucking pumpkin feels like a lifetime ago. Like yeah. that, 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 that kind of era easy. when me and Finn and all the other band members went to record that EP. Uh, <laughs> like the first EP. Like that is just like, it doesn't feel like the same band. It's like, so, yeah, we were like, kids. We were literally, we, well, we were, weren't we? Yes. We were like 16. 16. And we're still, you know, kids, but yeah. it, it feels like a lot. And it's like, we've matured in music, which is. Through, and like, people still listen to that a lot, and we're like, it's just not us. No, yeah. So we're excited to re release our new single, Paris. Yeah. yeah. 14th, 14th of April, April 2020. Oh. 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 Yellow. Oh. Oh. Ollie, Payton, Faddle Fart. Finn. What? <laughs> why, why, what? Why do I feel like you should do, like, in the gig, you go, introduce yourselves, and together we are die twice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Together we are. Why? Do that. I. E. Twice. W. Seven. Twenty-eight. Right. Right. Yeah. Don't fight my own time. So I also interviewed yeah. Fraser from obvious events and obvious reasons. Big up, big up Fraser. Fraser. Yeah. Big, big up Fraser. Reasons. And he asked, what was the studio like in Wales? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, man. It's fucking amazing. Chaos. I mean, we got there. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was fucking chaos. It was chaotic. We, like, got there, and we arrived. Uh, we all drove up on Jake's birthday, the 16th of December. Big up, um, Jake's birthday. Happy birthday, Carnes, next year. Um, Thank you. <laughs> and uh, uh, we got there at probably, like, 11 o'clock in the night. And um, we, like, went up to the owner's house, because he lived just next to it. And, and we were like, oh, can we, we're here now. Can we come in? And he was like, yeah, so doors open, just go in. So we were like, 
Oh shit, so we just like all ran around. We like run into everything. Like, yeah. every single thing. There was like, upstairs, downstairs. Yeah, there was accommodation with a kitchen. And we a, kept and finding more rooms. We yeah, thought we, we found the studio and then we're like, oh my God. <laughs> we said, oh we my said God. we weren't going to jam. We said we were like, yeah, we'll take yeah. it easy tonight. We'll as get soon there. as we found our room, we, went, we all set up and we just jammed until like, what, like 4 a.m. or something? Yeah, we could play like 24 hours a day. Like fully set up as loud as we want. And like we cook nice food. Yeah, we jam. We wrote music. We just like. Uh, it was incredible. We had to just like. It was like, like a, it was like a film. It you know what I mean? It was, yeah. it was unreal. Movie, bro. Main character moment. Yeah, man. <laughs> it sort of <laughs> would remind me of like Bohemian Rhapsody, where they go into that studio in. Yeah, like, yeah, rock field. Like, in the middle of fucking Same kind of like terrain as well. It was, like, yeah, west, middle of Wales. In the middle of the country, yeah, middle of, like, so like, like yeah. there's a sheep and shit. So, Billy, you've been in the band for just over a year. Now, yeah, did no, you really. ever feel intimidated when you joined, considering they'd recorded with Steve Craddock from Ocean mm. Colour Scene? Yeah. Uh, yep. uh, and uh, obviously sold out the Phoenix a couple times. Yeah. Is that scary? God, that's terrifying. <laughs> no, I, I knew <laughs> these guys. I've known these guys. I've known Finn since I was a baby. And I was hanging out with the boys, like... Just like when I was in college and stuff, we just doing breaks and everything. And I came to a lot of gigs, and I've been gigging for years anyway. Oh, as a band, so I, was, I wasn't <laughs> like scared like to play, but obviously it was a lot of responsibility because Zach was an incredible guitarist, and uh, I replaced him. But uh, yeah, no. Finn is fucking scary, man. <laughs> <laughs> is that scary? Careful. Scary. Careful. My drink nearly came out of my mouth when you said that. No, I wasn't letting him in the band for a while. Yeah. I, I think maybe when we did out, um, maybe like, probably the you most nervous. Practice. I think, nah, nah, I was, I was just excited. No, he just called But me. it was just, um, <laughs> it was like, I think it was like the first week we played in Exodus together. And I was like a bit like. Which one was that? I can't remember. It was. <laughs> must, be, must be Phoenix. Was it Phoenix? It was Phoenix, bro. Probably because <laughs> it. Well, there you go. Yeah. It was Phoenix. I think that was probably probably the most nervous I've been for a gig. I was excited, but I was like, because yes. uh, yeah, the band had done so well at the Phoenix quite a bit, and I was just like the new guy. That's why it's making still an impression. Is always know? the new guy. Yeah, I'm still the new. Still I still have yeah. 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 not. This is the audition. Like you decide if he's in the band or not. Like, <laughs> listen, listen. I mean. About. What can't Billy do? Drums, guitar, vocalist. So I wanted to ask, what, <laughs> what, what do you play first? Is it drums or guitar, which is natural? Um, I started playing the drums when I was about five or six, and then um, started playing guitar when I was about twelve. I probably, I don't know. I wouldn't say I have like a main instrument. I just. I just dabble. I, just, I dabble. I dabble. I dabble. I dabble. Big I up dabble. Flavor the Wicked. Flavor. Big up Coca Pony. Coca Pony. Thank you. Uh, Obvious reasons. My bad. D- big up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally every single band. Just big up every single band. Yeah. And Luna, I'm a train station. <laughs> Love those guys. <laughs> oh, don't forget. Respect them. Respect. And obviously, you're doing your Bristol debut gig soon. Is it the first time you've played in Bristol? We've, we've, we've done played, one in Bristol. Well, we played, what? We played twice two in Bristol. Wait, what? We played two gigs in Bristol. You did a gig without me? Bro, it was the... Where was it? The, um, we the played, Fleece. We played a pub in the Fleece. Oh, we are. We've done uh, two. What's the place outside? Thunderbolt. 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 Uh, uh, and um, Zach, oh, two former members, Zach and Sam, did an acoustic set at... I think it was the Exchange. Yeah. It was like a vintage... Oh, well, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that. that. So, Technically our third, but this is like our first day viewers. Yeah. Obviously the single release uh, gig would have happened. So please tell me what <laughs> would have happened in that gig. How do you mean? Um, so like, what can I expect from to happen from that gig? Who's supporting? Who's... Oh. What's going oh, on? Is this, wait, is this the oh, listening, the listening party? party? Yeah. Um, so we've got uh, the Zephyros. They're going to be playing a few acoustic songs. Big up the Sephiroth! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh. And then we got uh, West well, ourselves playing a few songs. And we've got um, the Paris music video we're going to screen. We've got merchandise. 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 Die Twice Cupcakes. Die Twice Cupcakes. <laughs> we got yes. Finn. We've got 
Finn. Finn's coming. Get on. He's got to adjust the role. My hat. And 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 drinks uh, and Street, dancing and then the yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and then the Zafiros are playing in the auditorium downstairs for like a, a proper so, gig. Uh, two gigs for post one. Three gigs for yeah. post one. You come to ours and we all head down and buy the house. So it's Not like when you buy win. when you how much how much are the tickets? Seven, Seven pounds. Seven pounds maybe mm -hmm. maybe eight because they have double Oh yeah. But it's like eight. <coughs> you're you're buying a ticket for a listening party. Where it involves seeing the Sephiros acoustically, us just like in a, sh in a snippet, and then Sephiros like proper full band main stage crazy shit, and then the actual gig you get to see Pack of Animals and Fever Rouge, and then us again. So you're seeing like what's that like five bands for eight. the price of five eight quid, and it's like if you're not buying a ticket, I really don't know what you're doing. What just are you doing? Just get a buy. You know what I mean? Get a ticket. I took it. It should be sold out. I think it will sell out. Doing yeah, pretty well at the moment. Don't want to jinx it, but fingers crossed. Touch wood. Fuck's <laughs> 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 sake. Why don't you touch my dick? Is it just mine? <laughs> That's staying in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, right. I stay in. I stick one. Sorry. I want to win it. Do you, do you have an acoustic guitar with you? I think we do. Oh, oh, hey. oh. No, we don't, unfortunately. Go on, play a bit of Paris. Play a <laughs> snippet. Yeah. Go on, Go on, Go on, Go on play a bit of Paris. Right, Jake's singing. Oh, yeah. Do you not think we should just tap your thighs? Can I sing over here? Can I just be like, stir up like, all like, angelic? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you a mouth, Baba. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, so how does it feel about new music coming out after two years? About fucking time. Yeah. yeah. It feels like we, like, the, the fact that the last thing we posted was two years ago upsets me because it's like mm. we've, we've done so much in that time and. I just really want to do more. <laughs> I want them to do it. <laughs> I want them to know. Cheers, <laughs> mate. The world ain't ready for yeah. you. I'm <laughs> certainly not ready. Finn's forgotten for the it. cause of it. Finn <laughs> 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 doesn't remember that. Finn forgot the cause of it. Put the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> 
to be fair, out of all the gigs coming up for me, obviously I went to Justin Hawkins. Justin, 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 Justin. Yeah. That was really good. Billy, there's a pick coming your way. Uh, Saturday the 6th when I next see you. Congratulations. Because you you were the first to respond. You was eager. Yeah, I was so I just I love Justin Hawkins. I'll use it at I'll use that gig. Yeah. I wouldn't wear it like that. You can't wear it. Okay. Um what else do I have coming up? There's two gigs I'm going to in the Easter holidays as well as Die Twice. On the second obvious reasons to doing a gig with Fox. And Foxhole. Foxhole were playing the gig. And then on the 5th of April, obvious reasons to doing another gig at Move. And then apart from that, it's just like the major gigs coming up. Like 4th of May, I'm going to see Peter K, comedian. Uh, 12th, 12th of May, I'm going to see a band called Black, Blank Atlas, who are Bristol based. Okay. Have another. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. 30th, May, 30th of May is just some oh. band at the Phoenix. I've never heard of them. Ah, uh, what? What? Give it a miss. Give it a miss. Give it a miss. Ah, no, Brad. I wouldn't go. I'm busy that day. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not around. Mm. Sorry. Personally, too expensive. Too expensive. I, to be fair, I'm just I'm just going to watch Fran, just yeah, for Fran. No, no, no. So weird. No, no. When, when, we, when we play, we're, we're just gonna watch him the whole time. Yeah. We should bring him. Have home. you seen? Uh, do, do you know about Fran? Like, holy oh, shit! You know about <laughs> Fran um, crowd surfing at some of our gigs? I was there two years ago because it was a uh, caught on the yeah. video. Just all of a sudden, Fran got on. Frank got up on stage and started to crowd surf. <laughs> there's, there's, there was another time where this was at the gig I mentioned, uh, the fourth gig we ever did, uh, the first time we did Exit to Phoenix. And I didn't know who Fran was. And he just climbed on stage um, in the middle, like uh, 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 just before a song started. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to crowd surf. And I was like, okay, <laughs> just, just wait, just wait, wait, just wait for it to kick in. Then he just stood there. He's like, it's all like that. And then, and then we play a, a cover of, uh, like a reg <laughs> reggae version of like, um, a song called Coop Island Blues. And you, you, there's a video, you watch him go around the crowd. He goes so, in. And then he goes back to the stage, falls onto the stage and kicks oh, a mic yeah. stand into Zach's face. And oh, Zach gets whacked so in the face and he's like that. I got the whole, got like, got got the whole thing. It's like one photo of him like in the crowd, one photo of him like slightly leaning, then it's him like mid-air, <laughs> then it's him on the stage like with his legs behind his head. And Zach's so just like that, like trying to play a guitar. And he's just smiling at him on the ground. <laughs> 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 that will be some I mean, well, okay. <laughs> um, I didn't know it. I didn't know about that time. Actually, oh, it's 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 so funny. It, I was, I was, I, I didn't see him smack Zach, but I, I saw it after. I was, I was, I was like, the yeah. microphone straight to his mouth. And... <laughs> yeah, literally. Especially when we're looking over, and everything was like. Big up Zach to feel his lips. They're nice, oh. and They're nice and kissable. Oh my God. Um... Okay. <laughs> so, um, and I'm also going to see Take That on the 8th of June, although oh, I, I don't yeah. really like to talk about yeah. it because it's yeah. not the sort of music I should be into. You've got, you've got a busy, you've got a busy. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. other summer stuff is coming up? 29th of June, I'm going to see Suede and Manic Street Preachers. Oh, nice. Yes. And they're doing, they're doing the Eden Sessions this year. Oh, oh, oh that's so sick. Have a look at you. My mum's seen Primal Scream at the Eden. I saw Ellie Golding. Um, my next question is, like, what was it like working with Steve Craddock two years ago? Because obviously I'm a huge fan of working with Ocean Colour Scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big boy question. It's actually good yeah, fun. Was like, was like, Billy wasn't there. Really <laughs> Billy wasn't there. He was a very chill guy. He had the coolest. So we played. We did it at his house in his home studio. Yeah, Billy, fuck off, mate. <laughs> Billy's there. 
<laughs> and uh, it was like, I felt like I was in Greece, Greece or something for the week. Yeah. And it was like really sunny. It was right in the, the heat of spring. Spring, so it's summer. summer. <laughs> oh, oh, but, it's oh. Billy. Hello, mate. Sorry, I'm looking. Shame you don't yeah. know about any of this. Yeah, you weren't there. <laughs> I know. We, the vibes are immaculate. We had the good vibes guitars. are great, and working with Steve Craddock was like unbelievable. He's a, he's a very very cool dude. Um, he, he had a very cool way of recording. He was very like open, <laughs> which taught us a lot about. But Jake, you got a few he, things he was talking. About. Yeah, he he just like it was quite a unique way of recording as well. He like all one by one, and he'd like just have one of us in the room, and no one else could watch. And he'd just go, do whatever you want to do. So, like, you had no pressure for anyone else. It was pretty cool. Like, everyone else would go outside and, like, smoke up and chill, and, like, like melt <laughs> in the sun while someone was recording. And, and we'd, back yeah, out. we'd be writing songs while we're outside. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Wrote Doppelganger in the, in the garden. We did. We have a song yeah. with Doppelganger. 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 That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It's, creative juices were flowing in that yard. So yeah, that was it, your experiences recording with Steve Craddock from Ocean Colour Scene. Yeah, and really... what do you think's coming up next for Die Twice? Like, what's happening this summer for anyone who doesn't know? We wouldn't call it a tour, but it's a we got a big stream of gigs over May through to August. So we're playing like, what well, we're doing Phoenix, um, and we're doing like Bristol, Louisiana. We got to London. Playing at Wilderness Festival. Wilderness Festival. Boardmasters Board Festival. Rock Oyster Festival. Yeah, yeah. And uh, loads of other loops. Loads of other little, loads of like little ones. And more dates that haven't yet been announced. Exactly. And mm. also more music. Like it's not just gonna stop at Paris. Mm. And I'm gonna leave it at that, but ah! your ears are gonna be blessed. I mean, if anyone yeah. bothers to read the fit description of the Phoenix gig, it quotes Paris is the first of six new tracks. Oh does it? Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> oh that gets us to a place we want. Sorry, just do my B-roll. B-roll. You said B-roll. No, right, why not have all the with it? It's time to be real. Yeah. There you go. I was getting really That's really sad. Bad, I'm very sorry about that. Oliver's pose. Yeah. Ollie does that a lot. Yeah. I get deep in like, you know. Let's get the talk to Pepper in. Finn loves you. Oh, what? Hang on. What happened to New the Diet one? Coke? Yeah. Diet Coke? Did you not see him sneak it in the screen with his... I did see that, yeah. <laughs> That's magic. That's movie magic. Oh, my phone. You got a great phone. Oh, phone's died. God, bloody hell, it's a good oh, phone. Died. Phone died. Phone died. Phone died. He's not going to get it. Oh, oh, oh we got yeah. it. Send. I did it. Ow. <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, we want to change the world. That's what's world changing. Next, who are your influences? Let's start from this side. I do individual. Yes. We've all got individual. Yes. Beyonce. Jay Z. Jay Z. Um, Kanye West. Uh, 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 Good guy. Right. What for? Like personally or for the band? Personally. That's like. Right. Personally, uh, influences. I'd probably say. Um, no. 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 <laughs> uh, like uh, a lot of soul artists. So like, Isaac Hayes and Stevie Wonder and. And Marvin Gaye and all that, but then also like the Shut Beatles up. and the Stones and oh, that man there. Oh, that man there. Holly Bay in your turn. turn. All right, so back off. So I gotta say, um, I like big inspiration. Can you stop? <laughs> I like I like um, King Cruel is a big inspiration. Yeah. Jeff Buckley, um, Aretha Franklin. Erica Badu and Fela Kuti. Okay, oh, Finn! Right, I'm first going to say Fontaine DC. <laughs> 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 He's had that broom for weeks. He's had that broom for weeks. First, I'm going to say Fontaine's DC. Big up Fontaine's <laughs> Get on. We've met, we've met three of the Fontaine's people. Three out of okay. five. We have two more to meet. 
Okay. Nah, fuck Ben's definitely. Fuck off. Okay. Sex no, 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 we're taking it seriously. No, 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 it's cool. Leave, dog. Do it. Say it. It's okay, man. I think it's okay. We're All not right. gonna make fun right. of you. <laughs> 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 we're not making. Oliver, help me. We're not taking this seriously. I'm gonna say it's quite yeah, a fast and all taste test. Alright, hip hop inspirations and punk. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. He's gone. No, bro, I'm he's sorry. Gone. I'm sorry. Are you pissing? He's <laughs> <laughs> He just twerked. He just twerked. He missed Jake, you're going. Uh, Stuart Copeland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Mitch Mitchell. Great drummer. Little bit John Bonham, Ginger Baker. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. What <laughs> 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 no, 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 Do you want to no, say no, your list? Do you want to no, say your list? No, no, Finn. Well, we say boring. Fontaine. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Sex Pistols. Sex Pistols. Hip Hop. Sex Pistols. Tribal Quest. Four Owls. Four Owls. Fontaine's. Billy's forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you got that camera as well. Right? No, I, I would say my main influences for a drummer <laughs> is probably Roger Taylor. Nice. Get on. Uh, Charlie Watts. Charlie Watts from the Stones. Oh, I Charlie Watts. And Charlie Watts. Charlie Watts. And probably Ringo Starr. Mm. Nice. Classy, yeah, yeah. I like that guy. Fontaine's DC? Good guy, isn't he? Fontaine's DC? Met the drummer. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I do like a bit of Coldplay as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Didn't, like, Exeter. Didn't, he, didn't he hold you as a baby? He's like, mad connection. Chris Martin held him as a baby. It's like, it's it's like, like, he actually made yellow. Connections so, through... Made yellow about he wrote the song Jay about me. Yes, it's very yellow about Jake. Yellow. That was his fault. Ow. <laughs> yeah, mad. Well, Justin, Justin Hawkins described Coldplay as the radio for not radio head for non musicians. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. I, 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 I don't like radio. Although, yeah. it's like Coldplay's radio. Radio had a fucking amazing. I don't like radio. Get the fuck. I don't respect Finn anymore. He's gone. Right, we're looking for a new bassist. So, radio, radio, anyone plays bass? Hit us up. Hey, I like Fontaine's DC. Do you like Fontaine's? Oh, I let him back in. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm just hanging right. here. There you go, mate. I'm just hanging <laughs> <laughs> What is hanging? going on? Pick me. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> he's had a beer. He's had one beer. One beer. No, I slept a little thing in his face. <laughs> yeah, I've been saying shit now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, alright. Everyone, sorry. Right. Sorry. 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 I've forgotten my next question now. <laughs> it will come back to me soon. Let's have a chat about music you're listening to at the moment. What are you listening to at the moment? A lot of solo George Harrison. <laughs> oh, no, 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 um, gorillas. Mm. You got an answer. Um, I would say for myself, uh, Roy Buchanan, uh, Paul McCartney, um, Eric Abadie, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I guess, uh, I don't even know to be fair. Die twice. Die twice. Yeah. 30th of April. 30th of April. May. 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 Phoenix. 
Animals. Animals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fever Rouge. Fever Rouge. Fever Rouge. How about you, Jake? What are you listening I'm, to the moment? I'm, I'm a real mix at the moment. The Erica Badu. Um, the Last Dinner Party. Come on, you, you can you can vow for I'm that. Like, Come on, sit down, sit down. No, 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 no. Last Dinner Party. Me, me and Finn, <laughs> me and Finn, we like, what have I got? Alabama Shades. I really shades. like the last, <laughs> last party. I've got, <laughs> there's a song by Rosie Reynolds. Have you, game Over. Oh, no, no idea. I like Game Over, but <laughs> Rosie Reynolds, Rosie. local. Big up, Rosie. She, she, local, She's yeah. in second year college UAL course. Really? Yeah. Uh, her song, her song, Love Idea, blew yeah. my fucking mind. Like, it is unbelievable. I've got, I've got Game Over on my playlist. I got Love, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I've got Mad Little Mix, Willie Nelson, James <laughs> Brown, <laughs> Bit Stones, ELO. I don't know. Everything. I mean, I'm currently listening to listening to Hackney Diamonds by The Stones because that's a great album. Don't get angry at me! <laughs> um, Billy Joel's new song that he released a month ago is really good. Uh, what's that good like, you guys? Do you want um, get a guitar. I don't, I don't have a guitar. I don't know how to play a guitar. Damn! But um, his music video that he did for it was made using, like, AI. And, like, really? it was him through the ages singing the song that he released this year. It was interesting. It's a bit like how Idol's Grace video was uh, Coldplay oh, oh, Yellow. Yeah, yeah, Idol's so good. Do you have a pre-gig routine, what you do before gigs? I think, yeah. I think we all go chaotic yeah. for a bit. I panic. You kind of all separate quite a lot. Yeah, yeah I never, to, I never see any. We never like gigs. stick together before gigs. We kind of always go off, and can't, then we, we see each other for like time. the last five minutes before we're going on. I feel like, I feel like subconsciously, we, the subconsciously we feel like the pressure mm. we're all around oh, each other yeah, before yeah, yeah, a gig. Yeah, yeah. So like, we kind of all just like split off unintentionally, or like we'll go off like so we'll talk to different people or something. Yeah, and talking, talking, and just socializing. And then, and then we all come together like, all right, gig. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Just running around looking Let's jump show. around. Yeah, it's Where's always, Finn? It's always, yeah. We've got to be on in two Finn minutes. Shit, we got to hear the fucking <laughs> One minute. Where's Finn? Yeah. Billy's shitting. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Half an hour later. Then we're like, one more shot, and then we run to the stage. <laughs> yeah, literally. I think I watched a video <laughs> where you, Ollie, you did a somersault before a gig. Like... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, the car wheel. <laughs> yeah, the car wheel. That was funny because I didn't land it, and I actually really hurt my back when I. <laughs> and I the whole gig, I had this little pain going up. And that, so like, I, I I was just like, fucking hyperventilating. So I was just like, I'm gonna do a car wheel, just you know, get it out, and then I hurt myself. <laughs> yeah, because it was on that video live at the Phoenix, and um, yeah. I could hear you say. Mike, watch this, because Mike Chamberlain was filming it all, and you did a yeah. somersault, didn't land it, and then went on the stage and started the set. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool, because everyone else was already on stage. We, we, None of them, know that, no one them knew that yeah. that happened until they saw the video. We just make madness. We just go... <laughs> Ollie was getting... <laughs> yeah. And then Mike was like, oh my God, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> and, then, and then the casually walks outside. Yeah, walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was a really good gig for me. I think it was one of the first like gigs I've been to on my own. Then, oh, yeah. and I've done loads more since then. It's no, a good thing. I love doing that. I love going to like, yeah. gigs and gigs when you're in the fun. It's, it's, you're you're really actually really more. listening to what's going on. Yeah, because like, yeah. I'm like, I don't know about you guys, but I like to have my phone like put away, like just in my pocket. Yeah. Don't go on it throughout the whole night. I maybe take a few photos, but I want to like experience it, watch what's happening. For example, Billy falling over at the Phoenix last year. That was caught on video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Billy falling over at the Phoenix last year. Yeah, they can just rem remember it. Remember it. And more funny. Humiliate me on social media. I remember seeing you. I saw a thing of like Adele. 
what was it when she's on, on stage and she's just like can everyone turn their phones off can everyone yeah, just yeah. Yeah. It? And I, I like that like, it's so much more fun when you see people like, enjoying it with a camera and the whole thing yeah it's like there's people who stand there watch gate. it through the phone yeah that's why you like stand the whole video yeah. for like the whole set or like in like 10 minute videos mm. yeah. and, and when they do it they're not annoying. actually looking at it they're just looking at this it annoys like, it annoys me when i'm stood in a crowd there's just someone yeah. with a phone up like that it's like, it's like what, what's the point because you're never you're never gonna watch your phone <laughs> you're gonna watch it back. It's, it's kind of fun when you're on stage and like if there's like a, a handful of phones with like the torches are on it that's kind of pretty yeah cool. that's like, that's or, like, probably the upside yeah, yeah or like when someone's videoing you and you can kind of like mess about and like go up Get to the camera and, and like, yeah, yeah. like kind of make it in moderation and, and also seeing some videos back is quite cool mm, just yeah. to like see if like yeah the game was fun or not I mean, I'm more intrigued about Pack of Animals playing at the Phoenix because they've never played there before. And um, as no, a band, played they've, played they've played upstairs, yeah, but like in the 500 main auditorium. Main auditorium. Yeah, those suits are so master strain. They're so close to it. I mean, the, all, all the bands on this lineup are going to perfect. They, yeah. Oh, my is, God. Can we, can we talk about Fever Rouge? Rouge yeah. yeah. Just before, we'll get on to Pack of Animals. Fucking insane. Fever Rouge are going to blow the first of the two spots. Of fucking exercise. Yeah. <laughs> I've played with a lot of bands. Yeah. Fever Rouge are by far the, my, my favourite. Yeah. And they are the most coolest suited guys. Us, they, they are the, the like so they sound the, so the so we, we, we found them so through um when we did our headline London and in Islington, uh the promoter DHP big up. They uh, they true. like um they found yeah, us a yeah. support act, uh this Fever Rouge from Brighton. So we like asked them, and they came up, and they did the gig for us, and it was kind of like yeah, the, be- the most beautiful. And Pack of yeah. Animals and Fever Rouge together are just yeah, they're just like the most beautiful people. I mean, we put them on first for our London gig, so we, we kind of felt a bit bad because they're so fucking amazing. But like um, yeah, just really sweet guys. They're just like just great, great sound, great stage presence, and then they kind of did like, well you got us for a gig in London, so you guys come support us in Brighton, so mm-hmm. that, they, we supported them at a uh, Brighton Green Door store. <laughs> <laughs> that was, the that was when I realised. And, realized and that was a idea. thank you for Brighton. They they are are excellent. But Pack of Animals. Pack of Animals. Fuck, man, they're killing Fran. Killing it. They're killing Fran. it. <laughs> but they, yeah, they are getting the Fran in the band was the best decision <laughs> <laughs> ever made. I'm you were saying Bez. He's a lot like Bez. Yeah. Yeah. One of those kind of thing, like yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, but they yeah, are yeah. all incredible musicians yeah, and are. and just lovely guys as well. The loveliest guys ever. Yeah. We say that me and Billy stayed at their place, the yeah. kennel. We call it the, we call it the kennels. And, yeah. uh, we stayed with them, and they are the, they are the sweetest, most beautiful, handsome boys. Handsome boys. Handsome boys. Handsome boys. Handsome boys. Handsome love these guys. Yeah, yeah, I, can't wait, but I spent the afternoon at their flat before um, uni started back in September. And it yeah. was it was interesting. It was an experience. <laughs> Did you go on the roof? No. Uh, see, we went up and we, we like um, we messaged them through the band account. So we were like, "Is it all right if a couple of us come up?" Because we were going to see a gig in Bristol, um, Alpha Alphamist. And um, and uh, we were like, "Is it all right if a couple of us come up and stay with you guys?" Because we knew you lived in Bristol, blah, blah blah. And um, they were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, sure." And then like. Me and Ollie were on the train, and they messaged, and they didn't actually know which members were coming to stay. <laughs> so they were like. But by the way, who is actually coming? Oh, it's Billy and Ollie. Cool. We just literally just arrived at their doorstep. And they're just like, but they're just the sweetest, and we just hung out with them. It's so yeah. cool that they live in this. They all live in a house together. Yeah. That's like, like we we want that shit. That's the coolest mm-hmm. thing. And then they're they're Bristol's a nice city as well, but they're just lovely guys. And we've always wanted to play like a proper gig with them as well. Like, yeah. And we've been saving it. We've been saying so that next long. time we do Phoenix, they're supporting us. Yeah. And then we're action. We, we should talk, talk about, about uh, yeah. <laughs> these two. Um, we've been playing with these brass members, uh, uh, Jamie Rabel and Harrison. Is it Harrison? Harrison Coles? Harrison Coles. Harrison Coles. Yeah. Coles. Harrison Coles. Harrison Coles. Harrison Coles. Coles is my name, mate. It's just jazz Shut up, mate. Yeah, we've been playing uh, Harrison's uh, trumpet player and uh, Jamie's saxophone. And we, he's been playing uh, baritone sax with us. And they're just like, just mind blowing, incredible musicians. We kind of. I can't, what was the first gig we did with them? So it was like that was the first gig we did as a four piece. We did one practice with and, um, yeah, we just like our it, manager it, was like the studio. Sorry, the studio was some place in Camden that was an old oh, yeah. toilet that was underground that was yeah, converted yeah, yeah. into a studio. It's like a public toilet. So it's just like it's just these yeah. stairs that go into the floor in the middle of the fucking high street, and it looks it like a public so toilet, cool. or it looks like a subway or something. Like, mm. it's a cool. 
Oh, yeah, Muggle, Muggle Lodge. Yeah, that's him. But yeah, we like met uh, Harrison and Jamie. Um, we's like uh, our manager, Katie. She we go, Katie, front playing. room songs. Yeah. Good lad. Yeah, she was like, do you guys want to play like a brass section maybe this game? We're like, yeah. I was like, we've been talking. So we like, like we oh, messaged since we first met. So we like, <laughs> we sorted out them coming and they came in and they knew each other because they played in a band called Run Buffalo. Run Buffalo. And King Cruel. And he's played with Stone Age as well. Yeah. Anyways, they come in and they're just like, it's literally like magic watching those two together because we like play them the song and we'd be like, all right, what can you guys play on this? And they like, we start playing again and they'd just be like, uh, I had like, uh, we played, so Paris, they, we have some brass on that, both of them playing. And, uh, I, I remember the first, in that, in that fucking old toilet, fucking, uh, fucking, toilet, fucking, fucking, fucking toilet, London, fucking <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, I remember we played Paris and it was a big bit when it kicks in at the end. You heard it because it was on the radio. Um, and I remember hearing them playing, and I actually like had to take a minute to breathe because I was so like yeah, overwhelmed by how it. incredible they were. And I was like, it's, "What the fuck?" Was, like, because it's the first that, time I've ever it. like. So we've written these songs ourselves, and then mm-hmm. these people are playing this, and I was like, "Oh my god, this shit is real." It's like if I if I heard like a choir or like a gospel yeah. choir singing a song that we've written, I would, I, I will, I will fucking freak out when we do that. So we're gonna <laughs> do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do all of it, yeah. but yeah, no, they are, they are incredible they are musicians, insane. beautiful boys, beautiful lads, beautiful, beautiful boys, and they know how to party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so are those two boys go- going to be yeah. playing at the Phoenix on the sixth upstairs? Yeah, mm-hmm. indeed. No, uh, not on the sixth, but um, oh, no, 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 on the thirtieth. Yeah. Okay. Thirtieth of May. Thirtieth of May. Exercise. Fever. 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 Oh, oh. Should we? Should we? Just on this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 So basically, for all you hardcore fans who are still watching, who are adults, who are after the exercise, there's there's a place there's a place on Gandhi Street called the Mermaid. And there's a down. It's downstairs, but then another downstairs. That there's a there's a room. Says again with like a mini stage on her shit. And my mother, Shh, Michelle Baton, and myself. Big up Michelle. <laughs> big up. Big up Mumsy. Uh, we're going to do a DJ set, spin some decks, and it's going to oh. be an after party. Uh, after the Phoenix, we're going to go down. It's just going to be a party all night. First come first serve. First, yeah, for real. Like I, I could mention it at the gig or whatever, and it's going to be like. Spinning some like seventies soul, some like Afro mm. beats, a mix of everything. A mix of everything. It's just gonna be like a party rather than staying at the Phoenix. So we're gonna do that. Just need to prepare you for the fact that there's sixty in the Mermaid and five hundred in the Phoenix. So you'd have to yeah, for real. get yourself yeah. down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So literally <laughs> pelt it down there. Yes, literally yeah. pelt it. <laughs> that's the plan that's the plan for after the phoenix yeah cool after party because we want we're, we're doing a whole tour and we're going to be gigging so and, uh, come to phoenix know. bring your ids if you want to come to the mermaid afterwards obviously yeah you won't be letting uh, bring some money buy some merchandise bring your money buy bags, all our merchandise lighters Lighters, tote bags, postcards, postcards stickers, t-shirts, stickers, Finn, 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 Finn Snapchat, Finn for a night, Finn's number, Finn kiss, Finn kiss me on a night, come on. <laughs> 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 one second, one second, one second, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, we want to tell you about uh, Rue. Is it alright if we just keep talking? We'll waffle about this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Rue keep Hammer. talking. Is, is it Lima? Is it Lima? Lima. No, because I think I said Lima. Lima. Oh, I've been saying that. Yes, yeah, Rulima. Sorry, Ru- Lima. Lima. Rulima. 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 He joined us in our uh, studio trip up in Wales uh, back in December. So we went up for a week, and the first half was like us jamming, right? Just us four. And then Ru, the poor sod, was staying with us for the last <laughs> two days. He had his own room. He had his own room, but we like, did jump he's still like. He was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Uh, yeah, he joined us for the last like three nights and recorded a number of our tracks and um, just the coolest, most gorgeous guy in his, the world. His brain the most talented. blows my mind. Yeah, he's it's, just like, how he, he kind of helped us he's, find he's, a lot of sounds in the bands that we didn't know. Producer. Yeah, he's so yeah. professional and he's worked with a number of artists like Tom Grennan and Foles and mm, various others. 
from nice. Buffalo and now Guy twice. And he's just like, he helped us find like a lot of new sounds in the band and kind of play things that we would never have thought to play. Oh, he was just adding these things that were yeah. just unreal. And he kind of like recrafted our songs with his kind of experienced professional producer mindset. And he would just be like, take that bit out and shorten that Yeah, you bit. don't need that. Add yeah. this bit. And he'd be like, you play this instead of blah, blah, and we would just, then it comes together. And then he like does all this. We have trust in him. We have, he's we like a like wizard. We feel so blessed he's that he's, yeah, he's a part just... of our like growth as yeah. a band and yeah. every day we're meeting people that are just like all the all the people that are like supporting us all the people that are working with us it's just it's fucking surreal it's so cool so lucky love that guy shout out Rue shout out Rue Rue big up Harrison big up Jamie big up Katie big up Katie big up the family big up the family she's got a new she's got a mullet in Crazy, it's so cool. So cool. Big up, big up Serena, big up Spider. Yeah, Serena, Spider, Earth, Agency, big up Lily. Oh, yeah. I was also, I was reading up on the. Big up Dot. Sorry, hold up. Sorry, Dot Forrester. Dot Forrester. The most incredible mind she ever worked with. She filmed our music video and she's like done loads of our photography. She has, to, she has to deal with us. I think that's yeah. Yeah. She's, she's she has person. got yeah. so much footage of us. Like she could get us like that's crazy. She could get us like. She's gonna go. She she's, probably gets cancer. So you know, like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. Oliver, like, like, you know how I was saying like I can, I can I can see that what you're doing is gonna work. Like I can see that with you. Dot as well. Yeah. Dot, yeah. Whatever she does, she will prevail in what she wants to do, because she has that incredible mind. And Callum Mullack. And I was reading up on the mastering engineer as well, and he's worked with Michael yeah, Jackson, yeah. Beyonce. Yeah, so we've, we've never met him, he's from the States, but... Um... Yeah, he's worked with some big artists. He's like two time Michael Grammy, Jackson. Granny, Grammy, Granny, 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 two time Granny, Granny award winning. Yeah, he's full time nanny. Grand but, Dawn, no, he's worked with um, yeah, loads of cool artists like that. But um, he, he, yeah, he's he's helping us out, and he's yeah. done a fucking good job with the master. Enjoying the tunes, I think. Yeah, he liked the song. Legend. It's cool to hear. But big up uh, Matt Woodward. Matt Woodward. Finn. Big up oh. <laughs> Big up Finn. Let's round of applause. Hey, well done, Finn. Here's the For anyone who doesn't know, Finn is the bassist. Yeah! yeah. 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 Finn's bass. The king. Yeah. Don't try. Snapchat. 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 Getting pretty. Sorry. I've got a jump scare. <laughs> I need to who, do, to who would you say is your most loyal fan? Fraser, Jake before he joined, and Billy before he joined. We've got a few yeah, people in Apart from people who are in the band, who's your most loyal fan? Oliver Clatworthy. For real? Yeah, but I've only been to two gigs. So no. I would... What? <laughs> uh, 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 Fraser. Jack Ewer. Jack Ewer. Jack Ewer. Jack Ewer. Um, Big up Jack Ewer. He yeah. always comes to all of our gigs when it's like in London. Every single yeah, one. Yeah, true. In London. Charlie Parr. Charlie Parr. No, we ain't talking about likes on Instagram story. We're talking about... Holly Pedler. Yeah. Oh. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's always certain people liking our stories. Like, mm. every, there's always a name, a certain few names. Like Enderman. It's, it's always... Yeah, Enderman. Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Um, Anne-Marie Coles. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Fraser, Fraser is a massive Fraser. supporter. And we love that, we guy. Love that guy so much. He's bought lots of merch. I uh, respect that. As R- room, room, oh, room, I, I, I. room, yeah, room, 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 Kira, Holly Pedler, Holly Pedler, Kira, Kira. Oh yeah, bootlegger. Thirty first of December last year. What was that like for you? Two years. It was crazy. Billy was just mental. What are you doing? That was. Oh my god, sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you fat bitch with the fucking. I heard that. 
uh, uh, bootlegger. Uh, that was uh, <laughs> that was that was like no, fuck off. That was um like that was like the first gig back in Exodus since like move. I think oh, it was. Really? Yeah, which it was, was early 2020. Uh, which was like May, I think. 2022. May 2023. May 23, move. Um, so we hadn't been back in Exeter for fucking ages. And um, Bootlegger was also like kind of hit or miss with how like successful it would be because it was it's New like Year's Eve. Eve. So like people would do other things. And, and, and also the tickets were expensive. They were like £19. But that did include a drink and a, shot. And a free shot at midnight. So... It was very like hit or miss and a bit like we kind of uncertain a lot of uncertainty the whole thing. But uh, really one good of the turnout. funnest gigs, yeah. it's, it's good turnout. Out, yeah, sold out. Uh, just fucking so much fun. We just like it was like it wasn't really like it was more of a party more than a gig. I yeah. think everyone was just like we were all fucked. We were all smashed. <laughs> and we stage. we played. We, what was it like a two hour set all together? We played like mm. two. We did like an hour set and we did like, <laughs> we did the countdown. And then, and then we did the countdown for New Year's Eve on stage. We played till like midnight. It was crazy. Easy. We played a, couple, like, a song or two after midnight. We played Lady after midnight. Yeah, that was the first song that so all the like, people in the crowd heard in 2024. It was Lady. And which is so cool. It was really fun. That crazy. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a big old party. Really, it was good fun. Good gig. It was a very good New Year's. Great way to start the year. Yeah. I was thinking of going to that one, but it was like 20 quid a ticket, and I don't yeah, drink yeah, much. So it doesn't we really. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We, did, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't want to. We didn't want to. We hate selling tickets for too, too much money. We hate so, selling that kind of thing. With the Phoenix, we've got it like, physically as low as we can. Yeah. Mm. But for obviously, us, obviously, obviously, there's a lot of costs. Like, yeah, so it's like for Phoenix, I think it's like seven pounds, and then if you book online, you've got like a one pound booking fee, but like seven quid was like the lowest we'd go in terms of us making a bit of money from it but also not being like too unreasonable because we've obviously got to pay the sport acts eight yeah, quid free like for the price yeah. of one that's it that's it he's got it exeter phoenix may 30th supported by pack of animals and fever rouge yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, that was. I said that for the, like the seventh time this evening. Beautiful. We've got we've got to keep showing the message. Like repetitive. Keep what, the message what else going. What do we need to repeat? <gasps> the single. April fourteenth, yeah. Paris. 14th, Paris. Of April. Yes. Twenty twenty four. April fourteenth, twenty twenty four, at midnight. You're so hot when you say these things. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. When, yeah I, don't, I don't think anyone yeah, is right. watching at this point. <laughs> Except for Fraser, hello Fraser in the comments. If you're still watching, Fraser, if you're watching it right now, please comment spaghetti bolognese. Do that. Go on, do it. That'll be funny. Go on, do it now. If anyone is watching right now, if anyone is watching right now, please comment down below which member is your favourite. Oh, oh, that's crazy. Next, 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 next. Whole comment section is gonna be big. Hi. Hi. Do I do I dare say which member is my favourite? Go on. Mm. Do it. Go on. Be crazy. Do it. Yeah, do it. Do it. Jake we have to fight to the death. It's gonna be Billy. Mm. Go on, rankers, rankers, right now. <laughs> Billy, I think it's you. <laughs> oh. 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 That's proper. That no, smudged the camera. Don't change your mind. Now. <laughs> I appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. Plus, <laughs> plus, I'm giving you a free pick. You should be grateful. Yeah, and yeah, that is very sweet. sweet. Justin Hawkins rides again. I've got 13 minutes till I need to go, so I'm, I'm going to speak for 13 more minutes. These are, these are the important yeah. questions yeah. now. Yeah. This is, this is these are some cutting questions. Do some riveting okay. questions. Full so attention. If you had to... If if you had to write... A, if any song like that you've listened to, you wish you'd written, what would it be? There's so many songs. Oh, there's so many songs. There's so many songs. Um, I'm going to say Sonora by Spent Time Palace. Yeah. I'd love to have written that song. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, 
few last dinner party songs. Every song ever. <laughs> honey Pie by Beatles anthology version. Honey pie. Oh, Honey Pie. I'd probably say a song called Hyperbolic Syllabic Sesqui <laughs> de la Mystic you know so. by yeah. Isaac Hayes. I'm going to tattoo it on my arm. This is a very cool song. And I'd also probably say, um, what's the one? I want you. She's so heavy. Oh, just, just, oh, that's just a great song. Any, any Abbey Road Beatles song? <laughs> any song. Yeah. I would say yeah. "Other Side of the Game" by Erica Badu. Yes, I would love to write that. Dark Days, Four Hours. I don't even know that. <laughs> I mean, I don't do Pretty that. much like every song ever. To yeah, yeah. Like any song. Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> My Black Sabbath. To be fair, like, Days the Confused. Yeah. Like, yeah. something oh, like that. Crazy, man. Led Zeppelin. I love you, you should have come over. Yeah. No, 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 no. Let me nah, choose Led Zeppelin. So yeah. real, so real. I would yeah. love to have oh. written so real. That Can riff, that is insane. Jeff Buckley. There's so many songs like that. But we're going to write some shit. And it's we're going to write good. shit that makes people... Say that about <laughs> in the interview in ten years. <laughs> yeah, because I was like messaging Fraser earlier, and I was said to him, "If I do this interview again in like two years' time, I would probably have to go through your management and ask if I can do it." No, 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 because we're all mates. Yeah. So we'll stay, we'll stay, we'll stay connected. Oliver, we will always, always like we will if you. If wherever we are in two years, whether we're in the same place or <laughs> split up, or, or, or split not up. a band anymore, we'll Blast, do it again. Blastonbury. <laughs> like, like, don't ever worry about that. We will always have time. To Remember me time. when you're headlining Glastonbury. Oh, oh, don't oh you'll be there. You'll be there. And you'll be headlining too. Trust me. Just really. Got an elaborate moment. No, no, no. no, 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 no. If there was, what, <laughs> like, what are you <laughs> Can I explain? On, yeah. Just let me explain. Let me explain. Let's let's just let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. One second. Let's just be honest. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. No, that's fine. We're allowed to sit back in. I'm I'm just. So it's me and you, eh? Just us. Two drummers. We just yeah, two drummers. <laughs> you, you, have three Sorry, you gave me the laptop. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't do right, nothing. We've got ten minutes left. Fire away. Yeah, true. Check oh, shows. Shows. Sure? If so you second could, second. if you could play with any band ever, dead or alive, who would you play with? Bellacuti. Fontes. Do so. <laughs> and the Africa Seventy. Bellacu. Easy. Just... Or James Brown. Yeah. Oh, I was literally thinking. Big that. band. Do you know what I mean? Or um. I want to. I want to support Fontes DC. You like Fontes DC? Yeah. Sport yeah. Heinz. Well, done Sporting Radiohead would be cool. That's fucking. Mm, they still do it. They still the smile. You've right? already supported Heinz. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. That was a dream come true. For yours truly. Vin Celebrity Crush is the lead singer of Heinz. <coughs> it has been for like since we were like thirteen, and and then and then we got the gig, and then we all just made Finn the most uncomfortable as possible <laughs> the whole night. And yeah, she and she was very aware as well. Like she was like, she knew like, because he, he like, would message her. Yeah, so he's messaged her like on Instagram, <laughs> dying, and it was just fucking funny. That's also when he attacked me shortly. Yeah, it was yeah, like, no, it was like, it was like, yeah, it was like, it was like, it was like, it was like, none of it. It was just like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Really like she knew, she knew, she knew Finn was the one that messaged her. So like she came over, said hello to all of us, and she like, in particular, went to Finn, just like held his shoulder. I finished. You'd be so quiet. Oh, yeah. No, I wasn't actually that bad. Towards the end, you fight. Yeah, I was going to look at you in the eye. I just went to wake up like five o'clock in the morning today. Right. So I said my favourite member. You for say your favourite member of Die Twice. Ben. <laughs> you ben. can't say yourselves. Fuck. Ben. 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 Zach. <laughs> 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 big, big up new relic. Yeah. Big up new relic. I heard yeah. they were really good at the Mr. Wolves the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I said that was good. I would, I would love to play there. I would love to play mm. Mr. Wolves. So cool. 
Swan you guys should do a gig at the Crofters Rights in Bristol. We're playing at the Exchange. Is it the Exchange? No, we're playing at Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah. That's what we're saying. No, the Exchange is Bristol. That's Bristol, yeah. What? Uh, yeah, we're in Louisiana and Bristol on May 28th. Louisiana, May 28th, supported by Bleep, 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 Bleep. Shut up. No. So, yeah, that was uh, the Louisiana plug for Bristol. Um, Boardmasters, what's going on with Boardmasters? What stage? Uh, so we're on the Keg and Pasty stage, which is like a little, it's like a pub. <laughs> what was that? He That's said the venue we played in Glasgow. He's like, yeah, hug a point. We're playing, uh, it's a stage called the Keg and Pasty. It's like a, it's like a pub. It's like a festival pub. It's like, so it's like it looks a like a pub. And then it's a big stage. It's not actually a building, but it looks like a building it's on the like pub. A and you go in and it's just mm. still grass yeah, on the floor. Really. And there's a bar <laughs> and there's a cool stage. And that's it. 6 p.m. <laughs> Keg and Pasty on Friday night. Friday night. First night. Friday night. Well, Friday night. And then Saf Juno is performing at Boardmasters yeah, on the Saturday. And, 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 and Fluff. No, it's and Boss Cast now. Boss Cast, yeah. It's on the Fluff. Boss Cast, I think, is on the Saturday as well. Saturday. There's a Saturday. as well, but I don't remember her name. Becky Hill. <laughs> yeah, she probably is. She, she is. Yeah, I, think I don't even, I've not even really looked at the lineup, to be fair. But no, it's just Sam Fender. Chasing status. Yeah, they're, they're like every fucking fashion I've never seen Chasing status. It's Jordy. Shut up. Would you ever like to perform like Reading in Leeds one day? Yeah. Yeah, everywhere. Definitely. That's the. I think, yeah, I mean, we all would love to, but no, I think uh, we kind of like we were, we were gonna do like next year, this is our kind of festival year, in a way. So we haven't got too many festivals this year, and like, and and like the, we 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 kind of could have played a few more, but we kind of um, like. Backed off because that festivals, festivals don't really book you like multiple years in a row. So we kind of decided like when we have next year, we'll be more stuff out and everything. <laughs> more so like this year, better. This year is kind of like, yeah, yeah. It's all part of the plan. It's kind of part of our scheme. So there's Shoot. like a, is there like a, where do you see yourselves in five years? Are we being like exaggeration? Are we going to be like, what? Be, are we actually, be are we actually, re realistic. 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 Really I, think, I say what we want. I want to be on headline stages, not headlining, but I want to be on stages where. I want to be on KXP. Yeah. yeah. KXP. Tiny desk. Tiny desk. I want to be on that hot, that, that, that hot wing thing, you know, when they're like having yeah. 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 Hot, hot ones. Oh, hot I ones. I want to be with him and just like slippery, do some crazy shit, just like jump on him or some shit. I, I want to like, I want to like, I want to make a feature in a, in a movie. Like, 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 a, shit. That's so awkward. What's, what's the what's the What's the word? Um, extra. No, what's the word? Not an extra, like a like a cameo. Cameo. I want to make a cameo in a film. That'd be fucking sick. Was... And then I was like, oh, that's the guy from the band. Oh, it's literally me. I've got my hat on as well. Oh, it's the geezer from Die Twice. Geez, absolute geez. The geez. Household names. Household geez, names. Geez, 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 yeah. Geez, 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 if you right, you should do in the Phoenix set a song where you will switch instruments. So Finn, Billy, you're not allowed to go on the drums because you already play the drums. Finn has to go on the drums because Ollie also <laughs> plays the drums. Ah, big respect, yeah. I do. Um, so Ollie, Finn has yeah. to go on the drums. Ollie uh, has to go on. 
bass. I can't say I'll play bass. Yeah, I know. Which makes it difficult because you can play all four things. Um, I'll play the bass. No, we're going to be a free piece. Um, Ollie, you're going to be in the crowd because you can do all things. It doesn't really work. Jake, Jake you're going to be on guitar and vocals. <laughs> and then, Billy, you're going to be on bass. Bass, yeah. That's all right. Are you sick of bass? I'm sick of the bass. <laughs> I think that should happen. All switch <laughs> instruments. <laughs> We should do it. Why am, I, do why it. am I in the crowd? Because you can play the drums and bass and guitar and vocals. You, you can do it. it. You know it. Yeah, sure, you know it. You know it. I can lie. Are you saying I can't do anything? <laughs> no, you're, you're telling me shit. Fair. You play Pokemon um, first, like me. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'll surprise you. What, do? what are you going to do, Oliver? What are you going to do? <laughs> Stay away from the mosh pit as oh, far as I can. Get in them. No. Is, is it? Do people ever? Do you, do you? Do people ever call you Ollie? Yes, all the time. Really? Uh, oh, Fran, like Fran calls me Clatters, which I really like. Clatters, 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 Great Clatters, Bay. Because I'm Oliver as well, but I, I changed it to Ollie when Clarish. I was like, look younger. But it does get quite confusing because in one of my classes last semester there was three Olivers and it just it got confusing. Oh, it's, yeah, like, it's a very, it's a very like a very popular name. Yeah. It's tough life, isn't it? It's cute as hell, boys. Big up, Oliver. Vince making this guy. Yeah. So, right, if oh. out of any of the gigs that you're doing this summer, which one are you most looking forward to? Phoenix, man. Phoenix. 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 What was that? Will, 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 wilderness. 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 Oh, wilderness. Rock Exeter, Phoenix, May 30th. 30th of May. Pack around. <laughs> 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 also, at, um, at Wilderness Festival, we were supporting Phoenix. Yeah. 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 The, like the support just before him and it's yeah, so so he's incredible and and um at Rockoys sorry Rockoys the festival we're um on the main stage alongside like Gentleman's Dub Club and Sugar Babes Sugar Babes yeah, Human mm. League and Human League and it's Bombay Bicycle is so exciting nice. can't wait for that one yeah baby pretty sure Max Tyler um performed at Rock Oyster a couple of years ago did he? did he? I think so did he? Fair play to him. Oh, yeah, he did. Wait, it. no, uh, I can't remember. I think I might have seen He's that. A He's a little Love my style, the big old. I know it's just one week. Still, Still I miss you. Oh, I anticipate Captain Bay. Captain Bay is by your beauty. Captain Bay is by your beauty. They should make like an Apple version. We should do cover of it. Oh, shit. Oliver. Out of all the local bands and artists, what song and artist would you want us to cover? Oh, if we were to do that. Whoa. That's a good question from the Billis. That's me. That's me, bro. He's thinking, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> can I give yeah. more than one answer? Yeah. Can I yeah, give at least off. three? Yeah. yeah. At least. I'd like you to cover a pack of pack of animals the touch. The touch. Nice. Yeah. Uh, obvious reasons. Blood on my alibi. Okay. Because yeah. I, oh, because yeah. we we so because I heard you all singing it. I think don't tell Fraser that you're doing it. Just bash it out on April sixth, maybe. Oh. We actually, yeah. we actually, so we actually, we actually did like a little video. Um, um, in my, in like, in band practice, we all like dressed up as Pack of Animals members, and uh, we played like a not a cover, just like a kind of like version of I can't, uh, what was it? Car Thoughts. We kind of did a version of Car Thoughts, and then and then we sent them the video. On. We used it as promotion. Smart, and they promised us that they do a video. Uh, of them pretending to be yes, yours, we call them out. We're gonna do diss tracks. We never fucking if did. If they don't do it, we're gonna write a diss track. 
We're gonna start. And it's coming out next month. Days, For real though, because Fraser's your most loyal fan, um, yeah. I think you should do the obvious reasons cover at one of the gigs in Exeter. <laughs> 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 Oh. This is the Ollie Bayton interview now. It's just me and you. Have you got any questions for me? Uh. Uh. Any questions? I, know, I never said any... my third song that I want you to cover. Um, what was that? Uh. Probably. <laughs> uh. Alibi by the Sephiros. Oh, shoot. Oh, I alibi. love that. We should recreate the video. I love as well. that song. Have you got any questions for the original members of Die Twice? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we are the originals. The originals. For real. This was like college days. <laughs> yeah, man. Was it annoying when the sound meters kept going off? Yes! What? what? No, the Phoenix. No, what? At the fucking college when the sound kept going off in the practice rooms. Oh. <laughs> the most vexing thing. It was so thing. funny. We then. only played loud and it was just so... So it it's was always a, the drums. It's always the. It was always drum. the low tom. You know what I mean. Spencer, respect it, man. It was like, it was always not the it's kick, really into it. not the snare. It was just toms. Yeah, For real. yeah. Toms and bass. Is that you said? It was like as soon as you get into it, as yeah. soon as you started like feeling it, everything would stop, and you're just like, "Fuck's sake!" I've completely just forgot literally about that. banging on the wall. I would say big up X as a college, but fuck X as college. Fuck X For real. Fuck them. I mean, they probably they're probably quite good to the rest of the people, but yeah, we we don't. Nah, they they I don't know. They oh, didn't really they didn't really like Dice Twice. Fuck that the <laughs> All the people inside. No, when I when I pitched my Clatter's TV show idea to my teacher, and he said he was saying it was Sam Tame who was teaching me, and oh yeah, oh, like, it was on the and uh. He was like, there was this band who did this gig at the Phoenix and they wanted to film it. I was like, yeah. I know that band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're called Die Twice. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, when I was in third year, I get recognised by the music, music teachers. I don't know if they were happy to see me, but they, no, they were like, you're in like, Die Twice, right? I was like, yeah. yeah. We, we got, we got <laughs> I'm not going to lie, in college, we got treated really shit by teachers. Yeah. But it was fun. So but you know, it's all right. I, 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 I was all right. Yeah, get yeah, but I was in second year. Fine. Yeah, but I already had my respect for the teachers. Billy, why why on earth was you on the production course? Uh, because I'm a nerd. He is a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's better than no, I was. just I just I uh, um not a good one neither. Yeah, just way cooler than these guys. So I just wanted oh, to right, take 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 I wanted to learn. I really I'm, wish I'd I'm more talk, yeah, I'm more of like I, don't I, don't know, I wanted to learn more of like the DJ, DJ and stuff. DJ. I've been performing for years, so kind of like delivery problem. Whereas it was kind of new, mate. You had no idea where to start, did you? No, you just had no idea. Jacob, look at you. Still don't know. You'll find it one day. Get your own hat. You think I went back out on a cut where the middle room? Back out on a cut where the middle room. I didn't play stuff in the title spot. Yeah, I think like my hat. Ollie, your hair looked better when you had a mullet, like uh, like last I don't year. Have a mullet. Like longer I don't hair, have... longer hair. Yeah, I'm aware of this. It'll, it'll I was grow. just gonna ask. It'll grow. What you preferred? What do you think of the fucking buzz? I like it. Well, I like it. You, it look, I mean, you look at it, you think, but then you have to look back, and then you realise that you look sicker. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> no, but I look at him and go, you probably look cool long hair, but then I look at long hair, but I don't know, you probably look like. I, it's so cute. I like you. No, I'll oh, say what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you don't. So you don't like my hair. No comment. So um, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to me today. It was very welcome. Thank you. For very very enjoyable, and I will have fun on the sixth. And thank you very much. I'm just. If gonna... you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more of this and thank you very much for watching and follow die twice and listen to their music and go to their gigs